<laughs> All right, and the moment Andy's been waiting for. Oh the yeah, don't get me oh, started. Yeah. Andy's on darlings right Andy, here. Andy, Andy, and this is not a joke. Not trying to be funny. Andy dead ass thinks Western Kentucky can beat Liberty and win conference. Yeah, time. I definitely think they are capable. I they are obviously the second best team. That's obvious by odds. They're plus four hundred to win this conference, which is the second best odds. Pretty, and it's pretty significant. What the next one is? I. They're bringing back. Um, they won their toe. They won the famous toaster ball. They were eight and five last year. They're second in the uh, preseason poll, but they've got a coach what, who's been there forever. Bowl? What happened? What bowl did they win? Famous toaster bowl. <laughs> yeah, what, what bowl was that? <laughs> you heard me. Oh, the famous um, toaster. Okay, but yeah. that was that was with um. Obviously, they had Reed at quarterback. That he's he's gone. But they did have uh, Velt Camp. He played one game. He played in hold that toaster bowl. You keep so, talking about this kid Velcamp. You've been talking I about think, him all I week. think TJ Finley is going to start. Exactly. What? Is Velcamp even going to play? Gonna, Finley's going to be playing from Leeds. Velk, I told you this yesterday. They they did bring Finley in as competition, but it's it's Velk more likely not a bad that Velcamp QB, will start. Based on what, though? Because he plays the style that this coach has had at quarterback every Dude, year. The, the problem is they're not going to waste, is they're not gonna waste Finley. He's already a junior. Product of Auburn. Product of Auburn. I'm aware. Caden Velkamp had one game last year. He had five touchdown passes, um, 383 yards. He passed ball 52 times so that game. They, they trusted in. him that week. You have to have a good backup nowadays. Everybody, a lot of teams brought in backups to be, I mean, just so to be that. TJ uh, Finley's career has hit a point where he transferred to Western Kentucky to be a backup quarterback. <laughs> he, no, no, no. They he don't could have been backup at Auburn. You. They don't transfer with the intention of being a backup. I, it seems as if Velcamp's going to... Obviously, they haven't announced their starter yet, but it seems as if Velcamp, because of the style he plays, he'll be the starter. He was amazing in their bowl game last year. Um, plays like Reed. They brought in every. They brought back everybody else from that offense besides the quarterback, of an offense that was very good. So they're basically just replacing Reed. Uh, the defense will be... Defense wasn't very good last year, but they brought in some additions there. Um, this is a team that's veteran, a lot of veterans on the offensive side. That's why I'm I'm okay with them. I think they're going to score a lot of points. I'm on their over and wins. I'm not saying I'm guaranteeing they're winning this conference because they're probably not going to, but they will have a shot toward the end of the they year. Were, uh, they were favored to win their conference last year until Liberty like went well, off. Nobody expected Liberty to do, to average 499 yards a game. <laughs> I, I just I think they're gonna start Finley, but I think um I mean piggyback on you I think Elijah Young is a pretty good running back and they added that kid uh, Hampton from Elon who had like two thousand yards mm -hmm. rushing last season, uh but I think Corley's gonna be a big loss receiving uh he was first team conference USA so that and the team's gonna score a lot of points so I just think he, his production they're gonna they're gonna miss that so it, the whole the whole thing rests on are they gonna get the production out of the quarterback position because if you're unfamiliar with Western Kentucky the whole offense rides on the passing game I mean they throw yeah, the they ball don't. a lot they're sixth in the country in pass frequency meaning there's only five teams in college football that pass more frequently than Western Kentucky and that's not new that's been the thing there for multiple years. They had Bailey Zappi, who you might know from the Patriots, and then they had Austin Reed. So the question is, now normally programs like this, when they establish a passing offense, they're more likely to bring in quarterbacks because they want to play in offenses that showcase their arms. So if, if, if that's if that rings true, then this kid Velcamp, Anthony Andy's talking about, should be somebody that has a strong arm. But until we see it, five touchdowns yeah. in one game, Five touchdowns in their bowl game. He pat he had fifty two pass attempts. Right, Same coach staff. It was, staff Domin it was also to, Old Dominion. It does not it's matter. Like, that it does not matter who they were playing. It was it was a bowl game, and they gave him fifty two pass attempts. That's pretty good, and he was amazing with all those pass attempts. So Kyle I, can get 30, 30, uh, three <laughs> touchdowns against Old Dominion. So all right. I mean, I'd be more conservative. I wouldn't go down the field, but. <laughs> He well, also I'm, led their team in rushing in that game too, so he ran the ball, scrambled. Can, can you go to returning play. starters, please? Because I have a question well, for Andy. Their defense—they only have five exactly. starters back. So exactly, and Andy didn't even address the defense. You noticed I that he casually that. all that over defense, the offense. He loves the I offense. I said that their defense wasn't going to be particularly well, offense, strong, offense, but offense. their offense does. Their defense doesn't have to because I think their offense is going to be just as good. Well, their first game, they're losing by 45. Well, last, well, year, <laughs> last year, the Western Kentucky defense was 106th in PPA yeah. per play at home. 128th in success rate at home. This defense wasn't good, Andy, last year. You got a new... Uh, that defense is pretty good. You bring in the same defensive coordinator. 
And Summers, I don't know who, I don't know Summers, but it's the same guy that was there last year. The only back five star. I don't know how you could have face in the, in the Western Kentucky defense. So let's pull up the schedule and try to poke holes in Andy's shit here. <laughs> the, Bill um, Steele claims they played Ohio State. They played Ohio State conference. last year, Andy. They lost sixty-three to ten. What happened there? Well, I mean, oh yeah, what happened with that? What did you expect them to win? I'm not saying that they're not starting one and all. I'll tell you that much. They're no, gonna get their well, ass kicked. We won. But... I don't know. Post Saban. Yeah, Saban's out. <laughs> uh, for those of you who can't see the screen and are only listening, they open up on the road. Uh, at Thirty-one, Tuscaloosa. by the way. Thir- Thirty-one points is the spread. That's so much Alabama's laying. Yeah. Milrow's going to go Alabama nuts. Alabama on that one. What's the total on that, Scoop? Uh, 64 and a half. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, six, sorry, over. 60 and a half. My bad. Bro. That over's probably hitting. If, if Andy believes in that kid, over, right? Milrow's going to yeah, do whatever the that fuck over's, he wants. Milrow's yeah, going to do whatever he wants on Western Kentucky's defense. I'd like to look at their pace numbers. But we're not talking week one right now. Um, So, week one at Alabama loss. To Eastern Kentucky. Eh. No, I'm kidding. Law. Win, win. At Middle yeah. Tennessee, that's a win. Loss. Yeah. That's a weird game, by the way. That's like Loss to Toledo, early... although Toledo being a home game is good. I will give you they might steal Toledo yeah. or Boston College. Toledo, I think they could get. No, nah, they're not going to be. I don't think Boston either. College. But yeah, Boston College. I don't know, though. Boston College could choke. Castellanos in like a sophomore slump. I feel like we, everyone's cra- Yo, everyone's like crowned Castellanos as like the dude because I mean he was awesome for a lot of last year but there was a couple times in particular yeah, right now like shit though he, sometimes yeah. he looked like shit <laughs> yeah. um so at Boston College let's say at lost this year, point so- we have him at three and two so wait wait three where are you getting the third win oh you gave me Toledo uh, you give me Toledo and they beat Middle I'll Tennessee I'll give you Toledo as a possible I'll give you as a half win I'm taking it <laughs> I'm taking it <laughs> no but he's at two and a half UTEP's next win at home UTEP might come in and establish the run game but nah they probably if I'm getting 10 and a half though I'm rain. taking the minors at Sam Houston State win win Tennessee win win New Mexico State win probably win Louisiana probably gonna beat La Tech. you've got that's that's six now at Liberty yeah. loss yeah, you've got Liberty. six I've got them at seven I think they lose I think Probably at Liberty lost. Liberty. Win Jacksonville State. That's seven. That's eight. It's that's under. eight for me. I got eight. Oh, I have seven. Eight. That's seven in conference, not. So hold on. It comes down to the Toledo game. If they win, beat Toledo, that's eight. I've if they got lose to Toledo, that's seven. Yeah, I've got them beating. I've give me an under. So I have eight. I have eight. eight. You have eight. I have seven and one in conference. So. And I wouldn't be surprised if they they're Wait. they're with nine and they pull one of those upsets. We you Andy, you miscounted. The heck do you mean I discount? Miscounted. You miscounted. I was at eight. You were at nine. Yeah, that makes more sense. Even better. You have a ten and two. Yeah, their losses are them, Liberty and Alabama. I have the same exact Boston record College. As last year. and Boston eight, College. So I have them at nine and three. Eight and four. I have it right here. Nine and three. Nine Hold and three. on. I want to find a loss. I don't, I don't want to take the over. <laughs> you you want to <laughs> find a loss? <laughs> Go create a loss, please. Create a loss. I, I have the over. <laughs> I want to conjure a loss here. Uh, but the problem is, if you're if you're doing an under here, like is Liberty's gonna win this conference by like seven games because no no one else is going over seven. Oh, there's like no where are they gonna lose? Sonny right. Combi? That would be the probably closest one. I maybe going. Oh, no, I want to put the under, under, but I don't necessarily see the path to it. Yeah, I just want everyone to know that I hope it goes under. Because Andy, Andy's just blind faith I'm, in this I'm team. I'm gonna bet it. I'm gonna bet it. Give me the under. Under. AJ. That'll be my third one. What else did you bet? <laughs> <laughs> my third win total. I bet oh, you. Oh, I, I bet say. um Ole Miss. They'll drop Michigan one State. of these. Okay, we're just blindly counting these wins. They'll drop one of these tough conference games, like at Sam Houston. They could choke. Keep in mind, this team at Austin Reed, they choked some games away. They lost at Jacksonville State. That won't happen again, though. Um, they also got beat by New Mexico State at home. They'll but choke one of these away. It's not as good this year. That, like, they lose, they lost Detroit, they're significantly right? worse. I'm not saying That's it's going to be New Mexico State. Maybe they choke at Sam Houston. Nah. That would be the best. If if you want to say they're going to choke a game, Sam Utep Houston beats be them. UTEP beats them. Miners. I st- even if you say UTEP beats them, I still got them at eight. I have, uh, uh, UTEP, I covers, beat- UTEP covered the Miners. spread last year against Western Kentucky. You're so. damn right they did. Miners. Miners football. 